What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Jardins and I'm here to help you build your absolute super self. Whether that's physically through trying to lose some weight and put on some muscle or that's mentally through eliminating your limiting beliefs and opening up your mind to exactly what's possible for you. So guys long story short I've been getting so many different DMs and questions about people trying to find this magic answer that I'm going to tell them that's going to make the weight loss process seamless, easy, and like here, take this magic pill. And of course this is not the case. So I wanted to make this video so I could help you guys immensely by just cutting the fluff. There's gonna be no fluff in this video. It's going to be real, it's going to be raw. And to those of you new on my channel, I've lost 100 pounds and I help people from all over the world do the exact same thing, whether it's through my online business, link in description, check it out, fat to fit blueprint or whether it's just on this YouTube channel. But I'm here to help you guys. And as everyone on my channel knows, I tell it how it is and that's facts. And by the way, guys, yes, we're in a new place Matter of fact, it's my new place and I will be showing you a tour at some point, but I want to cut right to the chase in this video and I'll be showing you in a video coming up. Don't you worry. I'm going to keep you guys in the loop. All right, guys, the ugly truth behind weight loss. We're going to have five points that I'm talking about in this video and it's going to be short and sweet. It's going to be good. We're going to get right to the point, get you guys what you came for and you're going to leave this video much more informed and feeling a lot better about your weight loss goals or fitness goals in general. So. We're diving in. So number one, it's not complicated. I know you're like, Jackson, why is that like an ugly truth? And I'm gonna tell you why. We all know how to lose weight, okay? We all already know how to do it. You gotta eat less and you've gotta move more. Oh, but I don't know exactly how many calories. Go to tdeecalculator.net, put in your information, get your number, subtract 500 from that, boom, you're gonna be in a calorie deficit off to the races. Get shredded, bruh. So like I say all the time, guys, if your dog needed to lose weight, what would you do? You would feed it less and you'd walk it more and nothing else. You would wouldn't give it an herbal tea and make it do sprints and cut carbs and all that weird stuff. You would literally just walk the dog more and you'd feed the dog a little bit less. Nothing drastic. People are always searching for this quick fix that they think is going to solve their problem. Just like I was just talking about. It's like, what's the magic pill? It is not complicated and there is not just some random quick fix here. Now, weight loss, ugly truth number two. The future is as crippling as the past. So for most people, they've tried so many diets. They've tried so many workout plans. Like I haven't been able to stick to it every time I've tried for the past four years. So why would this time be any different, right? I know you're hearing me there. Like I know that you've thought that in your mind if you've been struggling to lose weight for some time. And while the past can be hard to get over, the future is just as hard and just as crippling. And it's because this sense of I'll get back on Monday, right? I talk about it all the time on the channel, guys. It's like, I'll get back on Monday. You delegate so much to your future self that the future is literally crippling you. Because guys, remember, that's how I put on 100 pounds in the first place, okay? It's because I was like, well, on Monday, I'm gonna get back to it, so I'm just gonna binge my face off right now on all the things that I'm not gonna be allowed to have when I'm on my game in the future, right? So when future Jackson kills it, I'm gonna be making so much progress that I might as well indulge in all the things that I'm not gonna be allowed to have later, right? Procrastination factor here is massive because it protects your ego because putting faith in the future is much easier than saying, well, I guess I just can't lose weight. No one is willing to usually give up hope. We're just going to say, oh, well, I'll get back on Monday. So ask yourself the question, do you continue to delegate to your future self and procrastinate doing the work and getting uncomfortable because guys, the only way you grow is by being uncomfortable. It's the only time you're gonna get any better as a human being is when you're doing things that are uncomfortable. So whenever you're ready to do that, that's when your life is gonna take off. Now the third ugly weight loss truth on our list is going to be optimal is the famous last word. People refuse to start losing weight and start progressing and start making progress on themselves and liking themselves in the pursuit of what is optimal. People won't even get started unless they're doing the most optimal thing. Well, I don't wanna just, you know, eat less because I feel like that's not optimal. I wanna lose weight fast. I want it now. So I'm gonna go keto and then restrict myself like crazy and then end up binging on a bag of chips and then the whole week is ruined and then I'll get back on Monday, right? Look, optimal is relative. People are different. Optimal is gonna mean different things for different people. When I started losing weight, optimal was a lot different than it is now, okay? I'm able to do a lot more variety of exercise. I have a lot more knowledge on food and what to eat and the calorie contents in them so I can eyeball better. If you wanna lose weight, optimal for you is what's going to keep you in a calorie deficit consistently, nothing else, all right? Stop overthinking this. Stop worrying about what's optimal and just worry about making progress. 
Now, weight loss ugly truth number four is going to be the identity crisis. You see, most people can't lose weight because being fat is part of their identity. They don't wanna take pride in going out. I say they, this was me. My identity became the fat guy, so it was really hard for me to do anything where I didn't see myself as the fat guy because in the back of my mind, I did. And I'm just here to tell you that if you, if you were like me, you don't have 100 pounds of excess body fat. You have 100 pounds of broken promises to yourself, okay? that Every time you say get back on Monday and you break that promise, that's instilling that fat guy identity because you're like, well, I have no willpower. I have no discipline. When, homie, you're just going at it the wrong way. That's why you're on my channel. That's why you got to watch some of my videos because I'm here to help you overcome this identity problem that builds after so much failure. Look at me guys, I, I failed for four years. My identity was in the toilet. And how did I fix that problem? Well, I had to earn it. I had to do the opposite of what I was doing before, which was keep promises to myself. If I said that I wasn't gonna drink this night when all my buddies are going out drinking and I was gonna, gonna just have like a 10 calorie monster to stay awake with them, I did that and I woke up and I got the results on the scale, I got the results in the mirror, and every promise I kept, right, that was instilling a new identity in me. And every decision you make is a vote toward the person that you are becoming. Weight loss is 90% mental, 10% diet and exercise, and I've said it before, and that has everything to do with the fact that your identity is everything. All right, you guys are gonna hate number five, and it is the ugliest weight loss truth of this entire list right here, and that is, most people just don't want it bad enough. I'm not trying to be a hard ass here. I'm not trying to be somebody to like hype you up and stuff. I'm not a big believer in motivation. I think discipline is much more powerful. But with this, most people's stakes just aren't high enough. So I have a question for you. If your mother's life depended on it, could you lose the weight? You're like, obviously, Jackson, yes, I could lose the weight if my mom's life depended on it. Obviously, I'm gonna make that happen. Why is that? That's because you're not considering the option of not doing it. When we fail for so long in the past, we start to get, get build a pattern, and that pattern is, oh, well, when I try to do this, I fail, right? But when you don't even think of the possibility of that happening, and you're like, I'm not even gonna consider the option of failing, that is when you will find success. So your why has to be strong enough and you've gotta have stakes in the game. You've gotta say, I want this so bad for X, Y, and Z. You've gotta have your set intentions of why you want this. So really dig deep and ask yourself how you're gonna find a why that is so strong that you don't consider the possibility of not doing it. Woo, we're getting deep in here today, people. All right guys, so I hope that I was able to kind of like resonate with you in this video. These are real raw truths that if, if you could take these seriously, this could help you monumentally in your journey trying to lose weight or honestly getting anything you want in life. I like to think that like all of my weight loss concepts apply literally to every aspect of life apply it to everything, you'll see what I mean. But on that note, guys, it's been crazy moving into my new place, so I just needed to make a quick video this week, and I appreciate you all. You all inspire me more than you possibly could ever imagine. To anyone who's new here, be sure to subscribe down below. I'd love to have you a part of my channel and join a community of like-minded individuals who want to not only improve their life, but build their absolute best self in the process. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some Transparent Labs protein. I got the mocha latte. Throwing this in my coffee today, it's about to be dangerous. So I got my homework, you got your homework, and I'm gonna leave you like I leave you guys every single video. Let's keep getting better together. Let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.